What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, The Auto Shop Life. So, you guys have been following the channel, you guys know I show you guys how to flip cars, you know, obviously us as mechanics make that side hustle money, you know, uh, get in on those slow seasons or the slow times, you know, making ends meet, make that extra cash. You know, we've been flipping some cars. I think the last one I had was the Pathfinder. Made a little bit on that, but uh, you know, between the Equinox, the the Focus we had, um, the Aviator I got, I picked up a Sebring, but got one the other day, made some money off that, decided keeping this one or if we're going to flip this next one, so check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so just pulled one into the shop, uh, picked this one up from a customer of mine, used to service this car a few years ago, um, he's an older guy, he ended up uh, some medical problems and all that stuff, so pretty much can't drive it anymore, um, didn't even want to make an offer on this thing, but the car's pretty nice, wait till you guys see it, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty much exactly what I drive, you know, if you guys seen the Tahoe before and my other cars and all that stuff, you guys know, you know, that blacked out, that murder out look is, uh, you know, definitely my style. But uh, grab the camera, take you guys out in the shop, run through this thing real quick. All right, guys. So I didn't want to pick up another one, you know, that needed a motor or needed a trans or needed any kind of stuff. Like I said, I'm surprised this guy took my offer. Um, you know, at first, it's not like I was too interested in it. I actually went to his house to check it out. He lives just the next town over. And uh, you know, it was decent, but it was sitting under you know, a bunch of leaves. Leaves are starting to fall here now in the area, so it's sitting under a bunch of leaves, a bunch of dirt, cobwebs, all that stuff. But 2003 BMW 745i, it definitely needs some work. So this one picked it up for a grand, and he hit some black ice, I guess, last winter and uh, you know skidded off the road took out looks like the bumper it's gonna need a front bumper fender um, the the skirts the rocker covers on both sides this door so you know me I've been I've been searching this stuff already it looks like you got some of the rim but you know whoever blacked this thing out definitely did it right you know they got rid of the chrome around the doors you guys can see then around back here, blacked out the tail lights. You know, pretty classy, nothing too dark, nothing too crazy. But uh, yeah, pretty nice. Not sure if I'm uh, gonna end up keeping this one for myself or what, but uh, you know, BMW parts aren't cheap. You can see it's got little dings and dents and scratches everywhere, but the interior looks good, the engine runs great. This thing's actually only got about 68,000 miles on it, <clears throat> but of course I want to still run through it, do all the fluids. I had it on the rack the other day checking for, you know, the typical leaks and all that stuff, but it's actually dry as a bone underneath. Um, you know, I'm not really into classy cars or anything like that. I'm more of a truck guy or all that stuff, but you know, the little features it has, you shut the door, it pulls closed. It's got the little lights on here. Sure, most of you guys, you drive European cars, you guys see that, but yeah, interior's not too bad. No rips in the seats or anything like that. Oh, hop on in here, see what you guys can see here. But, let's see, where's the key at? Got the key. You guys see if we can see the mileage here. And thousands of doctors across the U.S. And now it's your turn. Imagine the possibilities with 20 See 68588. Radio works, navigation works. So I thought that was pretty cool. This thing's got CD changers galore. One here, one in the center console here, one in the trunk. You got one right there. You got the little cell phone thing in here. The BMW phone, Motorola phone is not in here. But not too bad. It's got the partitions in the window. All the little buttons and controls. Sunroof. So yeah, having to decide exactly, uh, you know, if we're gonna keep this one, 
you know, take, take some, some of the profit we made out of some of those other flips and, uh, you know, give myself a car, give the Tahoe a break for a while. But, you know, this one's winter time's right around the corner and this one's not really a, uh, a winter car. You know, obviously the guy hitting black ice. This thing's probably definitely going to need some tires. But pretty slick. I like it. The lights and the door is really cool. It definitely needs a retint job. But between the door, the side skirts, you know, front fender, front bumper, this grill, got to go. Probably going to get the stock grill for it. So, yeah, put the stock grill back on it. Get the, you know, the secondary hood lock for it. They got some wonky clip here or whatever, but can't stand the blacked out chrome showing through. You know, uh, got new badges for it because this one's a little chip in. They always do. But, yeah. It's got a lot of good, couple couple down things. You know, obviously have to definitely fix up before I drive it. Uh, but you know, wanted to do one that didn't need a motor or trans and all that stuff. I already got a motor job on a BMW outside there, little Roadster out there. We'll be doing that next week. So didn't want to do two BMW motors. Get a, another BMW that needs a motor. But yeah, this one's just body panels. So get this one together. Be a body man. Get it painted. You can see even scratching the windshield here. He was definitely driving it with bad wiper blades. I put new wiper blades on it already. Not too bad though. You guys let me know what you guys think about BMWs down in the comment section because this would be the first one. If I drive this one, this would be the first one I've ever owned. Not to say I've ever worked on, but eh, you know, I'm getting older now, so it's all about that luxury driving. That door just looks terrible. But for fl flying off the road, he didn't hurt anything too much. Front end still tight. Nothing's beat up underneath. Definitely, uh, definitely a good score for a thousand bucks. You know, even if I got to put another two thousand in parts between parts and labor, paint and all that stuff. But that's it. Is this going to be the next flip, or is this going to be the next car Jim drives? We'll see. So. Not too bad for a 2003 with only 68,000 miles on it. Just wanted to get a quick one out there for you guys, show you guys what I've been up to. We'll see what we do with it. Get the parts ordered, get them down here, see what I got to do as far as paint and all that stuff. Get this thing out there, see see what it's worth. You know, obviously it's sitting. The battery was dead. Had to put a battery in it because the guy had it sitting for months and months. So I'll register that new battery I put in it and uh, get this thing out there, see if it's worth holding on to for a bit. But. That's why I do these guys. You can see, you know, flipping these cars, making ends meet, making that extra cash. You know, maybe just take the profit to this one, keep a spare car for me and the wife, and then, you know, finish up the aviator or the Sebring that I still got here. But I'll take you guys through it. Maybe we'll make some content on it, at least throwing that door together. I know that's going to be a fun one, getting all those parts switched over to the new door. It is what it is, though. Nice car for what it is. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.